I feel that was NPR. too was that too tight. Was that should I should I open that one up? Yeah, Huel, there we have some new management here, and I know you like to play things kind of fast and loose and shoot from the hip. But what I'm gonna need is a shooting schedule, a breakdown. I what I'm saying is is I saw what you did at the Baghdad Cafe. Uh, you walked more in. of that. No, 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 <laughs> no. Because no, there was no, a. I've, we're in the middle of the desert, and there was a road sign with a one and a five on it. That's two hours. I need two hours. Well, Huel, the reason I called you into my office, and I come from MTV, and I come from MTV Sports, okay? <laughs> and so we have a certain pace and a certain cadence, and but the reason— you, See, what you don't understand is the only thing that otherwise— if we're not in front of that sign, we're in Vegas. And the only thing in Vegas is topless girls with a bum in the front, which is insane, <laughs> but it's true. Right. Okay, well, many of our no, viewers... No, they have it. They, you got to yeah, go, no, but not, we're not going to go because... I'm not, yeah, no, I there's, know. There's a down the road from that sign, yeah. there's a um, there's a man. Mm -hmm. He's he's only got the one leg, but he, he spends his days drinking from a bucket. Yeah. Now that's okay. That's our two parter. Huel, this I saw the dailies <laughs> and you did I you gotta look at me. You got forty one minutes outside of the bun boy. You yes. didn't even go inside. We didn't we didn't go in I'll... until minute forty two of the bun boy. And I'm saying I come from a world of action sports and Madonna videos. You understand? We got to tighten this up we've got to pick up the pace i understand but when it comes to something called a bun boy i am the expert yeah no i i get it i get it but I'm it's looking, an open-ended adventure you got, at the bun boy there's 26 minutes of you in front of the great greek and it's not open yeah. i i just it I, certainly is no i <laughs> You uh, got Okay. Let, let me tell you something about the Great Greek. You've got to, and I understand you got to coax it open. Yeah, okay, understood. But it's like even getting a stray means. dog I, on your porch. Yeah. You got to coax it up with little treats. Oh, okay. And then, then there was something. Tell it you're a friend of its parents. There's something <laughs> I found confusing too, which is you laying down on your back next to the world's tallest thermometer. And doing a weird stroking motion and laughing maniac maniacally. That now that was thankfully I was only eleven minutes. Well, but I, I I feel like we got it. There has to be some editing in these bits. You when know. I see the world's largest thermometer, like anyone, I immediately think, "What's my temperature?" Yeah. I wish I could find out. Yeah. So naturally, I laid down. So you. W w look, um, The Godfather was l less than two hours, as, as I recall, a ride around there. That had characters, that had plot, that had Marlon Brando, that had movement, that had pace, a Star Wars, these things. You can't take empty highway and fill it with two hours of rocks and gravel and scorched desert and chaparral. I got to tighten this up. My well, background see, is MTV sports. I understand, I, but we, we, see, we're on the same page because you're talking about The Godfather, and I got coming up three and a half hours with a woman who found a pine cone that from a certain angle looks like James Conn. <laughs> yeah. Um, so and that's a tight is, three and a half. Yeah, but so you're kind of illustrating what I'm saying here, which is we can debate whether the pine cone should ever even air, but I'm saying that is a 90-second hit max. Three and a half hours. Well, you have to get, you know, it's like an onion. There's just levels. Uh -huh. He was in rollerball. James have, Kahn. James yeah, Kahn. Yeah. Have you ever gone to, 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 to roller rinks? I've there seen are, it. Uh, I, I'm familiar with Skinny Minnie Miller. There's a roller. Not, th there's a roller rink in Glendale, California. That uh, well, now I I uh, I just did a remote fi exactly 500 feet from it. Well, okay, no, but see, Hugh, this is what I'm talking about. I've watched the tapes. It's a very I've seen precise distance. It's a ch I have Almost. a chalk. I have a chalk outline around that. Is that Almost. like a restraining order or something? <laughs> we don't need to get into no, okay. we don't need to get into the 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 sticky fingers of a meddling bureaucracy. Okay, <laughs> Huel, let me just be as, as straightforward as I can possibly be. All right, um, I saw your tour of the Menudo factory in.
Sunland, California. Yes, and believe me, when I heard Menudo Factory, oh, please, and then I saw no, what no, it was, yeah. heartbreak. Yeah, no, I, you're thinking about the boy band, obviously. Heartbreak. Now, and, and obviously, you, you, you kept a stiff upper lip, but again, uh, interesting choice of words. Yes, you standing by a canning conveyor belt for 19 minutes and being drowned out by the sign of the sound of and the machinery. They, and they had to pull me away. Okay, what I'm saying is there's a new sheriff in town, Huel. That sheriff is me. There's a new pro. It's not you and Louie in a van wandering the country filming old people with cans and rocks. I need a, I need a shot list. I need clearances, I need itineraries, I need to know when, I need final cut, okay? I need to get in the edit bay, we're going to paste this thing up, we're going to get some eyeballs. I, I, I totally agree with everything you're saying, okay. I just haven't listened to what it is. <laughs> I, but okay. I... But You'll... I noticed that your lips have stopped moving, so it's my turn to talk now. Oh, okay. Look, say your piece, Yule, but there's no more blank <laughs> checks for you and Louie to go wander around and waste everyone's time <laughs> and money. Uh, let me ask you a question. I have a I have a pair of olive green cargo shorts. <laughs> yes, you're wearing them now. And a blue polo shirt. Tucked in. Right. Question for you, because you're an exec. Belter suspenders. <laughs> okay. He, they, they brought me in to kind of tighten things up and give it a fresh look. And you wandering the desert, standing in front of signs with an eye in front of them is not well, what I, I'm, yes. I can tell you one thing that I do to, to tighten things up is use fear. <laughs> okay, I'm now I'm worried for myself. It's just the whole... If you leave... if. Let's say you have a guest house. Uh -huh. uh, you have a guest house on I your do. property. I do have a guest a, house. With, yeah, where, where you can't, where, with a lock, a lock on the outside. Uh, <laughs> one thing that I like to do just as a subtle, as a play setting, a mood setter, is near the guest house in plain view, have a baseball bat that l appears to have brain matter on it. Like you don't have to say anything. You don't have to, just, it should be there so people know you mean, you mean what you say and you mean business. Oh. Hmm. It's all about, it's just like Walt Disney. It's just moving people through. It's all about people moving. Oh, okay, uh, Huel, I'm starting to get a little um, nervous. Let me slide here. just a little bit closer to Yo, you here okay. on the couch. You know what? I'll tell you what, Huel. Uh, let me noodle on this whole thing. Uh, yeah, give it a thought. A well, little more. I, 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 you know, if it ain't broke, you know, that, they, that, they that's my theory. say that. Yeah, we. Um, I, I'm going to go out. While you're thinking about that, I'm going to go out to Chatsworth. We found a, uh, we found a man out there who, uh, it's near a gun range, but what they do is uh, they make el the elderly dig holes. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, and then there's a, bu yeah. there's a building with no windows. We don't yeah. know what's going on in there, but we're going to check it out. Man. We've got a couple of mags of film. We're going to shoot five or six hours of just you. old women digging holes. Yeah, you you really look like you you lift a lot of weight, Hill. I'll tell you what. Uh, I I'll keep, you know what it is? Mm. I don't even lift. I'm, I don't even lift that many weights. I keep so much inside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fuel. I'll tell you what. Let me just op Marty, open the door, would you please? Just kind of leave it open. Thank you. Um, you know what, Huel? I think I can find some budget for you out of I'm Let's Rap. Yeah. That's I'm a Sunday morning show. They're just sitting around kibitzing. They yeah. really don't need the budget or they have. I remember uh, the other day, one of them's like, we need a fourth folding chair. And I was like, get the hell out of here. Are you kidding me? Just so, take it out of, you know, take it out of tote bags. Yeah, the uh, totes. The no totes. one uses them. Yeah, people, yeah, we do our stupid membership drives. If they really love us, they'll give us $14. What do they need a tote bag no for? Go to tote... Santa Anita, you want a tote bag. And you can't give travel cups to people who are housebound. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to, re... you know what? I think I can uh, reconjigger some of these numbers here, Huel, if you That's fine. Let me live. And uh, Well, and... if the meeting's done, I should probably untie your legs from that chair. Yeah, it'd be nice if you clip those zip ties. <laughs> I'm starting to lose feeling in my These, toes. I tell you, these things have a thousand uses. Yeah. All right. So, Huel, we're good. 
And uh, remember I was telling you the other day I sent you an email that said uh, we we need to do air checks where you sure. come in once a week and we take a look at what you shot Happy together. To do it. Uh, let's just scrub that. All right. You're you good. You know what you're doing. Sure. You just get Louie and uh, get in that van and uh, well, we here's gotta, a blank check. Yeah, we're going out. We're going out to. Uh, we're going out to a shop, an abandoned shopping mall in oh, Oxnard. Oh, wow. That has been taken over by owls. This is good. Let me write <laughs> that. I, where were you when I was on MTV? But like, we're just gonna stay on the roof. Yeah, no. And if you can just keep it to under seven hours, sure. I, you you've got you have green well, light. That. What we found with shopping malls at night is the UFOs will often come, but only if you're nude. Oh, yeah. The, try to just do waist up on that one this time, Huel. Some of our uh, younger you audience can, was... Uh, well, you can frame it out. Yeah, we could pixelate, but you could just kind of have Louie do a waist up shot and then sure. some of our younger viewers... As we call it an Elvis. Just shoot a, a waist up. Yeah, waist up. Yeah. Do an Elvis. You know why? But again, I'm not telling you what to no, do. No, no, I'll tell you. You know why we only shoot waist up when I'm, when let's say, like, I'm just a regular guy. I'm like you. Four in the morning. I'm nude on an abandoned shopping mall in Oxnard waiting for a UFO. Right. You know why you mm. shoot just from the waist up? Mm. Because like a magician, all the magic happens inside the hat. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, again... Uh, keep on keeping on and uh, accept my apologies for this meeting. And I know we maybe got off on the wrong uh, foot. Speaking of feet, you just go ahead and clip those zip yeah, ties. Yeah, we'll clip those. Have, get your hands, get the, shake the hands out. Get shake the, it uh, out. Get yeah. that uh, thing. And uh, remember, if you need anything, you talk to Marty. Well, give um, Marty a call. Give Marty a call. I'm usually just here working on the phone. And there. thank you for telling. And I. Thank you for the gate guards. They, You know, the gate guards here actually put my picture in the guard shack. Yes, I told them to do that. Oh, and that I, fans. Yeah, fans. no, I told them I want this guy to have the white glove treatment oh, when wonderful. he comes around. There's so, something uh, about a smiling man and a snow white brush cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So anyway, unlimited budget. You, and, you know what? You guys, you and Louie. Get in that van today and just keep driving. Well, just next, keep driving. The next time you see me, I'm going to be standing next to a six-foot fossilized dinosaur <laughs> turd that looks like a silhouette of Anderson Cooper. My goodness, scintillating. I, I, I hope. Let's let's have that have that ready for sweeps, Marty. <laughs> I, do we have sweeps here on public television? If there's such a thing as sweeps, let's do the fossilized dinosaur turd on sweeps. I look forward to that, Huel. Shake those hands out. All right. Don't ever come in here again. Thank you.